So among the other updates, we also updated the live transfer to respect uh, most of the latest and greatest versions of CAT out there. So SolidWorks, Inventor, Creo, uh, Creo Parametric, and um, NX. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration on how to send it over to SolidWorks. So here I have a completed model here with a full history tree here. So I'll go ahead and select SolidWorks from this tree, start from first feature, and then I'll go ahead and hit send and switch over to my SolidWorks screen. So now you can see Live Transfer is sending over to SolidWorks as native features. And again, we updated this. This is a simple tutorial just explaining that we updated to the latest and greatest and to show that it works. Um, but this is a huge feature of Design X, being able to send things as native entities over to CAD so that you can work with them and edit them in the proper way inside of those CAD packages. And you'll get this pop-up when it's done. Export succeeded. And I always, if you're doing live transfer a lot, you can see that it it leaves everything showing. Because as you model in SolidWorks, SolidWorks will kind of turn things off as you go. Um, so I actually turn these filters on so I can hide everything all at once like that to make it easy. And so there it is. Um, if you come back and just select something that you might want to edit, let's just se select something that's way in the beginning here, way back. And there's that. And then you see that you can add dimensions and make changes if you wanted to. So that is the live transfer tool. So we support the SolidWorks 2022, the Inventor 2022, Creo 8, uh, Creo Parametric 4, and then NX uh, 1899.